and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys. So what is an intriguing news roundup? Because what we have is one transfer that is going to happen. We've got one transfer that may not happen. And we've also got one transfer that didn't happen. So first of all, we're going to welcome a brand new centre back to the club in the shape of Mikael Fay, And we're going to be discussing what he could bring to the club. Then we're going to be talking about Martin Zubi Mendy and why that may not be on the table for this summer. Whilst we're also going to talk as well about Alfonso Davies, his failed transfer to Barca and why the reason for that was solely because of Bartomeu and his, surprise, surprise, incompetence. It is all coming up, guys. So come on and let's do it. Because according to an exclusive from Fabrizio Romano, Barca have indeed wrapped up their first signing of the transfer window, and it is indeed the young defender, Mikhail Fey, who will come in from Croatian second division side, Kostosia. Now, according to Fabrizio, Barca have agreed their a deal worth 5 million euros for Fey, plus potential add-ons in that deal. They rate him very, very highly, but I have already seen quite a few comments they're talking about big signings from Barca. Why are we not making them like other clubs? Why are we not spending the kind of money that others are? And to bring in a player here for only five million, is that really a good deal for us? And I just want to say here, guys, let's not forget Ronald Araujo. Let's not forget Pedri. Those two were brought in for around 5 million euros. And actually, this is the kind of business that I would like to see us do more of, honestly. Because rather than making the huge, whopping 100 million big money signings that Barca have done over the past few seasons, and honestly, guys, how many of those big money signings have actually come in and performed, have actually justified the big money that we've shelled out? There haven't been all that many of them. So I think here it's not about judging the price tag, it's not about judging even if it's a name that we're all familiar with right now. And we have got to hope that Barca's scouts have really been doing their homework, and maybe they have, because this right here is a centre-back who's also been scouted by the likes of Atalanta, by Frankfurt, by Chelsea, and by Borussia Dortmund, who actually this summer, Dortmund thought they were going to get him. They thought they were going to wrap up the deal for Faye very, very imminently. And as we know, Dortmund really do have a serious eye for talent. So that there in itself is a little bit encouraging. But what do we know about Mikel Faye at this stage? Because he is only 18 years old. He was born there in 2004. I'm sure that makes plenty of us here feel a little bit old. He is from Senegal and he is just over six foot tall there playing playing at the heart of defence because he is there a centre-back by trade. But I think it's also worth noting here that he's more than capable to at left back. He's a player that can seamlessly switch between the two positions, almost at times a bit like a hybrid. And that is interesting, given that this season we've spoken about the fact that Barca don't really have a great deal of depth at left back. So with the fact there that somebody can come in and play on that left side, either a centre back or left back, that is certainly looking like a positive. And from what I have seen of Faye so far, looking at him in a bit more detail, one thing that I really do like, the fact that he's a left-footed centre back, that is a profile that we are crying out for right now. That is something that we're really looking for. And what I've seen of him, he is very, very comfortable on the ball. And I'm not just talking here about somebody who's happy to step out of the defensive line and play the balls in there and actually get the ball rolling, you know, from the heart of our defence. But I'm talking here actually about somebody who looks comfortable to dribble his way out, to actually move there well into midfield. And I've seen some really good long balls fizzing them over the top in behind. He looks really, really astute in that department. And it's unclear yet whether he's going to go straight into the first team setup. You know, that would be for a young player, a big, big step there going into Barca from the Croatian second division. But it all depends right now on exactly how high Barca do rate him. He may go firstly into Barca Athletic. There's also the opportunity, of course, that he may have in pre-season to show Chaffee what he is all about. But I think it's an intriguing signing here to see what he can come in and do. He is very highly rated. Other big clubs were certainly interested in him, but Barca is the destination. We've got the deal done and welcome to the club, 
Mikael Fey. However, guys, it is not all about the deals that have been wrapped up in today's video because I also want to talk to you here in a bit of detail about Martin Zuby Mendy. Because yesterday we spoke about the fact that Xavi really does admire him, really does love the style of play that Zuby Mendy has, and he's made no secret about that. And in an ideal world, Zuby Mendy would be close to the very top of our transfer targets in that pivot position ahead of the summer. However, today a few quotes have emerged from Zuby Mendy that has certainly cast doubt on that move. Not only this summer, maybe even with a view to the future too, because it seems as though he wants to stay at Real Sociedad. Because he came out today and said, actually, I am more motivated to take Iliara Mendy's number four shirt rather than Sergio Busquets' five. So that there is a quote that is certainly been circulating today. Iara Mendy is leaving Real Sociedad this summer. He's a legend there. And basically, Zubi Mendy is saying, I'm more interested in replacing him than I am about replacing Busquets. So that doesn't sound there like somebody who's even interested in a move to Barca this summer. And there's been a bit of criticism of Zubi Mendy after that quote. But I think in many ways, actually, guys, we've kind of got to respect that right here. This is a player who has grown up at Real Real Sociedad. It is his boyhood club. He's only 24 years old, but he's already spent 12 years of his life right there in San Sebastian. He has gone through every stage there, every development point at Real Sociedad, and now he's finally made it big in the first team. And I think in modern day football, you don't see this kind of loyalty that often, especially when the big clubs do come knocking. And I think with Real Sociedad next season, now in the Champions League, they qualify for the European elite. I think Zubi Mendy wants to stay there. He wants to see that through, and it would appear like he's going nowhere. And this, to me, should be a quote that is definitive on his future. So I think what Barca have to do now is not waste time. We spoke about it yesterday there. We've got to identify our targets. We have to make it clear very, very early on. Can they happen? Is it possible? Are we going to be able to bring this deal to life? And if not... You've got to move on quickly. You cannot afford here to be waiting around, to be wasting time, to see players just slip through your fingertips in front of your eyes. You've got to be proactive. And I think now the time has come to say, OK, Zuby Mendy, he's off the list now. Quite clearly, he's happy at Real Sociedad. That is where he wants to be. You can't knock him for that. You can't criticise him for that. What Barca have to do now is move on to the other targets we have and make sure we're doing what we need to this summer. However, guys, I would still like to talk about Alfonso Davies, and I would effectively here like to look back on a deal that could have happened, that effectively should have happened back in 2018, because it has often been reported here that Barca could have signed Alfonso Davies when he left Vancouver Whitecaps there for around 11 million euros in 2018. Barca were in the race, they were in the running, and the deal could have happened but it didn't. And over the weekend there, Alfonso Davies actually revealed what happened and why that move was shut down. Because he confirmed, Barca reached out to me. You know, Barca approached me there for the deal. We were in discussions. But he then said the president, Bartomeu, said he didn't want me because I was Canadian. And he said, I'm not going to lie. That really did crush my feelings a bit there. So Alfonso Davies confirming what has been reported over all of these years, that Bartomeu was the man that effectively said, no, we're not signing you because you're coming from MLS and also because you are Canadian. And again, what an idiot. I mean, this is the kind of closed-minded thinking and this is the sheer level of incompetence that we saw from our former president for year upon year upon year. And every month that we go on, you know, every season that we have at Barca, we just find out more about the kind of stuff that he was doing to this club. We just find out more about what we had to go through and are still suffering the consequences of to this day. But Alfonso Davies now is actually being heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid. That is a deal that I could definitely see happening a few seasons down the line. And I think it would be fun. You know, we've done OK now. We've moved on from that. We've got Balde at left back and we're extremely happy with that. Imagine in El Clasico. Balde at left back for Barca and Davies at left back for Real Madrid. That is something that we may see in years to come. But just let me know, guys, in the comments down below today, your reaction there to that latest admission from Davies. Also, of course, your thoughts on Zubi Mendy's quote. And indeed, Mikael Fey, who will join Barca this summer. I'll be waiting to hear all of your thoughts. And I thank you indeed, guys, for getting involved and for tuning in for today's video. I will catch you soon with all of the latest updates, of course. But until next time, as always, 
Vyška! Jelbasa!